Hello everyone, I am coming to you from New Glarus Wood State Park in Wisconsin. The world around me has been freshly watered by rain. It is a very bright green with touches of color for fall. We've entered a new season and it feels and smells wonderful. I'm going to read a poem to you uh, that has not been published yet. It comes from a new book that I have been working on that partly follows the life of 06 a wolf that was born in Yellowstone National Park after they did the rewilding program in the 1990s. Nate Blakesley writes about her in his book, American Wolf. So this poem uh, is called The Howl, comes from my heart as a mom that wants my children to live in a very safe world to always feel at home. The Howl, the epitaph reads, there was just warm sunshine and soft grass and the bounty of an enormous territory that belonged only to them. They tilted their tiny heads back and added their voices to the chorus of O6 and her pups. You can almost touch the music that spins open aired, lungful, unforced and willful from a pup taught to revere a little sun on the throat, a little meat already in the stomach and mama nearby. A moment of dismantled vigilance, nothing encroaching, nothing to hunt. One gray babe after another, uncertain about that first yelp, usually a signal for danger, but then her body stretched out on a thick patch of grass, wrinkles forming at the signs, sides of her eyes from age and survival relaxed. And the way the howl lingers on and on, note by note, into that big blue Yellowstone sky. From Slow Creek to Lamar Canyon, they had won themselves a place to roam within natural boundaries. And now this home is something to fight for until it's predator free. I wish this for my daughter, leisure, the earnest present moment as she lies beside me on a beach along Lake Michigan in sand dappled with American dune grass, kingdom plantae, family proqua, genus lemus, species lemus mollis.